A defenseless woman in a wheelchair is attacked with a knife in broad daylight in Roselawn. Good evening, I'm Kyla Woods, in for Curtis Fuller. Tonight, police have charged a 21-year-old man with the brutal murder. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa has been covering this story all day long and is live tonight with the latest. Tammy? Kyla, Patricia Hummins was described as a kind, happy neighbor who used to drive around the neighborhood in her wheelchair. So for her to be attacked and murdered is unthinkable to her friends. I love her to death. Patricia Hummins' friends still can't fathom the brutality of the attack. Why? Why? They didn't have to do that to Pat. I, I just lost it. I said, oh my God, this is somebody that lives in our building. Friends say the 16-year-old didn't have a chance to defend herself after police say Andrew Kimbrough stabbed her to death this morning. Not only was she bound to a wheelchair, her friends say she was paralyzed on one side. And to beat her up and stab her for, for what? For some change? It's really sad. You know. So we're, we're not safe. Investigators found Hummins on the sidewalk near her Hillcrest elderly apartment. So her body was just laying there, bloody. He had, he had stabbed her so many times, the coat thicker than yours, that knife had went through that coat. A good Samaritan had jumped in to help Hummins, but police say Kimbrough started stabbing him too during the struggle. Finally, the good Samaritan was able to get the knife away. Neighbors say they're tired of the violence, drugs, and burglaries in Roselawn. Mm -mm. Everybody in here is talking about packing a gun now. And that's what it's coming to because you're not safe no more. This, our world is turning into something else. This is out of this world. It really is. Human beings, well, we just ain't got a chance. I don't know. Especially when you're handicapped. Now, according to these court documents, Kimbrough's charged with murder and felonious assault. He's still here at UC Medical Center, where he's being treated for his injuries. Reporting live, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. Thank you for that update, Tammy. And officials say the Good Samaritan has been released from the hospital. Investigators have not yet released a motive for the attack.